Hey, I'm Zach. And I'm Ella. This is Trial by Trail Overland. Today, we're going to take a look at the AT Overland Atlas topper that you see behind us, talk a little bit about what led us to this decision, what else we looked at when we were making the decision, and show you around. So let's check it out. So to start out, what led us to this decision was we had a Jeep and we had a rooftop tent. We had a couple different rooftop tents actually, and they were great. They were absolutely fine, but we wanted more room. Um, I, you know, with this, you try to get as small as possible, and we did, we tried. We got as small as possible, we fit in a Jeep. So we have a couple of kids as well, to put it a little bit more into perspective for you. And so all the seats were full, we couldn't remove any, and we had the back built out, had a couple of drawer systems. It fit everything pretty well, but when the kids did want to come, which was always a very welcomed experience, they kind of had to hold their bags on their lap and it kind of took away from it. So we started looking at trucks. We started looking at options. Well, we were looking at these solutions, um, you know, you know, to start off, we, we settled on a truck and we looked at different trucks. We're in the Pacific Northwest, trees are tight. We've been down quite a few different trails with our Jeep and we didn't want that to be a, too much of a limiting factor. We knew it'd be a little bit different. I mean, Toyotas are great, this truck's great. The Gladiator was one of the options we looked at with the truck, but it was gonna be modified some, so we wanted to stay away from full size. We ended up with the Tacoma I think it was a perfect option. It has been, it's been fantastic. And then we started looking at toppers. So we had the truck figured out, we have that. YouTube was amazing. And honestly, that's why we're putting this together. We're hoping this might help some others in similar situations. Again, rooftop tents are great. The pictures look amazing, their function. You know, if it's not the middle of summer, um, you know, leaves a little bit to be desired. Um, same, same as going completely the other way and looking at things like four wheel campers. They were great, but with the vertical sidewalls, it protruded out a little bit too far on the top for us. Um, I didn't want something super built out. So we did look at the project M and that was a potential option, but the wait time was insane. Uh, we looked at the Vagabond. Those were awesome. We looked at AT Overland. We found the summit, we found the habitat. And originally we were thinking about going with the habitat, but we kayak. We have a roof rack on this topper and we have a couple of different kayaks. We bike sometimes. I wanted the, I wanted the ability to have the storage on top and not have to take it off every single time uh, we park somewhere. So we ended up with a couple of, you know, I think they're like 32 pound kayaks that we can put up there and we can leave it up there while we pop the top. So anyway, with, with that in mind, after looking at all the options that are out there, the Atlas came up. We were, we were actually going to AT Overland's website to order a habitat going, well, we'll just have to take the kayaks off. It's fine, it'll hold it, it's gonna work. There's an awning out the back built in. I mean, it, it's pretty cool. Check it out if you haven't already. Um, if you're watching this, you probably have already looked at some of the other options if you're looking specifically at finding some more information about the AT Overland Atlas. Um, and then when we were on the website, the Atlas was there. It just timing was perfect. Um, it wasn't a wedge shape. And, and with those, those web uh, wedge shaped uh, toppers, I didn't think too much when we first started looking at them on how are we gonna sleep in there? Are we crawling head first? Are we going feet first? And it turns out, you know, I'm, I'm a little over six one or so. Uh, Ella's not short either. and we'd have to get up there and put our feet down. And that just seemed a little inconvenient. The go fast topper didn't have the ability to go up and down in the night, um, you know, without disrupting a bunch of things. This topper, you'll see when we take a look inside, it has a sleeping platform. I believe it's 120 inches. And then we have a 36 inch opening where we can get up and down in the middle of the night with six foot, 10 inches of headroom. And that's what we were looking for. We could crawl in head first, um, just back right out, get down. Now, Ella also had a couple of reasons why she wanted more room, and I'm gonna let her talk about that now. Well, for the ladies who are watching, let's be honest, who wants to be freezing cold and get up in the middle of the night and try to find a place to use the restroom? So that was my main motivation. I just kept 
looking for a solution to where I would feel safe and secure in the night to use the restroom, get up, stretch my legs, and not feel isolated to a tent uh, or a rooftop tent. It checked every box and we placed an order. All right, so starting here at the back, we'll pop it open and take a look around. So one thing you'll notice on here, we have this option here. This is a, this is a window clearly in the back hatch here. And we also have the, the window between the cab and the canopy. And what that allows me to do is not, not just reach into the back seat from inside if I have them open, but see through my rear view mirror. So if I wanna back up, I can see. If somebody's behind me, I can see. It's just fantastic. It comes with these um, latches here that are lockable, one on each side. And one thing, if you look at any of these, you wanna make sure that when you're closing this, you don't push in the middle. It's honestly, it's a little flimsy here. If you push right on the latch, it locks nice and tight. Now this is keyed and as long as it's not super cold out, they work great. If it's 25 degrees out, uh, they get a little sticky. So nice struts holding it up. The whole interior is carpeted, which is great for patches. The whole interior is carpeted, all the walls, which you'll notice the back of ours it's empty. We haven't built it out yet. We got this not too long ago and I'm still trying to figure out exactly what I want to do. So um, if you have any awesome setups that you've seen, please feel free, share it in the comments below. I'd love to see build outs. I'm always checking them out, trying to get some inspiration for what we're going to do with this one. Now I'm going to show you how to open this thing up. So first thing we want to do, shut this. These little latches, there's two in the back and then two on the side. So now it's up to you if you want to keep these on here. The topper comes with them and it just clicks through the hole and then you screw these down just to make sure it doesn't pop open. If you were going to just set those in there and not screw them down, you would have cut a bit of time off just unscrewing these things from the top. So once you have all those open, hop inside. So what you do is you just get here in the center and push up. So once you've pushed this up, there's a bar and a wall like this on each side. And you wanna push it all the way. And then there's a clamp up here. And that's it. So you just do that on each side. So one other thing when you open this up, there are two bungee cords that attach to the walls on each side. And that just helps when you're putting this thing down to suck the walls in so they don't get pinched on the outside. So you just remove those. So when you first open this thing up, you have your platform in the back that's over the cab, and then in the back, the extension of your sleeping platform here. So this thing just rides on these little channels. So you can take this and you can put it on top of your platform over here, or you can just slide it so it touches and you have your full sleeping platform. Now to give you an idea of space, Elle and I are both standing in here. We do have the other additional sleeping platform on the top up here right now. Um, and we got a bit of room. Wave. Go ahead. As I mentioned earlier, it's important for me to stay warm when we're camping. And so one of the options that we elected for is this white layer. Uh, this is a thermal liner that was added on. If you pull back here, you'll be able to see, this is the standard liner that it comes with, just the gray. Um, and in the cold months when we're camping, we're able to add this just very easily. It's Velcro system. And it goes along the entire lining of the topper. And on that note, the Velcro is awesome. I honestly, I hate zippers. They get stuck, they break. Velcro, unless it becomes unstitched, that's not gonna happen. So underneath the normal uh, thermal liner that you have here, then you have your standard uh, 
uh, liner. Then you have a clear window. And under that you have a screen. So that was a big selling point for me with the AT Overland. So in my home away from home, I prefer to have a lot of natural light. And in this topper, there's no shortage of that. You have four windows, one in the front, one in the rear, and two on the sides in addition to the skylight. So it has this built-in light around it. That's pretty awesome here. It's pretty bright. I don't know if that's gonna show up on the camera, but it definitely shows up in here. And then on one side, there's a screen. And you have a blackout curtain on the other. In addition to that, this thing cranks open. Quite a bit. So putting the mattress down, once you're done with whatever you might be doing in here, it's pretty simple. So just grab this guy. And honestly, it's a little tighter with a the thermal liner in here. If you didn't have this white layer, um, one, well, it wouldn't be as warm, but two, it'd be a lot easier sliding this thing around. But you slide it down and you got your bed. So getting into bed at night is really easy. One of the things that I liked is we weren't sacrificing that much space over our last rooftop tent. Um, Zach and I both are not tiny people and we fit up here really comfortably. There's a lot of room. So this might not be the best camera angle to tell, but there's just two of us here and it's the best we can do. So we have room. No pillows with us currently, but <laughs> there's plenty of room up here for both of us. That That's pretty much it. I mean, it's the tour. I didn't get into any specifics as far as how much it weighs. I will tell you for reference purposes, this is a 2020 Tacoma. Uh, it's the six foot bed model. Um, and again, this is the AT Overland Atlas model by AT Overland, um, which is Adventure Trailers Overland. They started, I think, in 2002 building trailers and um, kind of migrated into quite a bit of different Overland uh, items, which we're thankful for because this thing's pretty it. awesome. Um, this one specifically, so we bought this from the guys over at Oregon Adventure Trucks. We're in the Pacific Northwest. If you're anywhere in this general area, those are the guys to go see. Give them a call. Um, they could talk to you about the different options. They were super helpful through the buying process. Mm -hmm. I had a ton of questions about the different options. I, I kind of over-research everything before I pull the trigger. Again, he, he went through all the questions I had. They're in Bend, Oregon. Um, contact info here. So shout out to those guys. Thanks for uh, going through the process with me, answering all my questions and, and getting this thing on here for me. We can be happier with it. So next up is, again, trying to figure out how we're going to build this thing out. What are we going to do? What are we putting in it? Where are we putting it? How's it going to function? Um, something a little bit different than uh, the Jeep is we have this big interior space that's accessible when you're inside but then we still have our outdoor kitchen and cooking area and i want to be able to reach the refrigerator both inside and outside i want to be able to reach all of the cooking stuff i got kind of spoiled with the jeep from the sense that i didn't have to go inside to get anything outside um so that's why i've also kind of been hesitant on building this thing out yet is i'm not exactly sure how i want to do it and even once I decide, I'll probably redo it again not, not long afterwards uh, once, we, once we use it a little bit more. So um, the other thing is, uh, Elle and I are just starting uh, to venture out into the adventure bike world. So I just picked up a V-Strom 650 and I'm outfitting that. And you'll have to wait and see what we're getting for Ella here. She is new to riding. So um, that's gonna be fun. And that's, gonna, that's gonna be an adventure in itself. Um, so we're gonna be downsizing a lot of gear we use for that and i'm wondering what can we bring to um, this side of things to keep things a little bit more minimal so um if you've made it this far in the video please consider you know subscribing to the channel hit the like button if you found this helpful hopefully it does again if you're in the market searching for one of these hopefully it provided a little bit more insight as to you know the at overland atlas and why we chose it um so yeah, I mean, I guess that's it. So thanks for watching. Um, until next time, catch you later. Bye.